Nolan Arenado, a true master of the baseball diamond, has a story wrapped in controversy. A story that Major League Baseball never wanted to see the light of day, and perhaps why it might be the reason that Arenado's name is mysteriously absent from Baseball's Hall of Fame. This isn't your run-of-the-mill tale of a baseball prodigy. This is far from it. This is about Nolan Arenado, a name that doesn't echo as resoundingly as it ought to in the world of the sport. But here's the twist. This narrative is far more shadowed, profound, and complex than you could possibly fathom. Welcome to Arenado Exposed, Dark Truth of an MLB Legend, a comprehensive journey into the puzzling life and career of one of baseball's least celebrated titans. Arenado's legacy is a captivating narrative brimming with remarkable accomplishments, stunning performances, and a skill set that marks him as a true maestro of the game. Yet why isn't his name prominently carved into the pages of baseball history? Why is there tangible reluctance, this subtle unease when it comes to recognizing his contributions to the sport. In this video, we're set to unravel the story that's meticulously been constructed around Arenado. We'll probe into his statistics, his milestone moments, and his leadership both inside and outside the ballpark. And we'll unmask the controversies that have conveniently been brushed aside for far too long. However, don't mistake this for a simple rundown of facts and stats. This is something far beyond that. Stick around until the end of this video to gain a deeper understanding of the inner workings of Major League Baseball, the backroom politics, and the strategies used to sculpt and at times distort the stories of its brightest stars. This is about comprehending the unseen forces that have molded Arenado's career and the reasons why his story demands to be heard. So, are you ready to dive in? Our tale begins with a young prodigy from Newport Beach, California. Born on April 16, 1991, Nolan Arenado had baseball running through his veins from day one. He dazzled scouts during his high school days at El Toro High School, making them drool over his raw talent. It was like watching Picasso paint with a baseball bat. Fast forward to 2009 and the world finally took notice when Arenado represented the United States in the World Baseball Challenge. He went on an absolute tear, showcasing his skills and snagging the tournament's MVP award. The Colorado Rockies couldn't resist the temptation, selecting him in the second round of the MLB draft. And just like that, a future legend was born. Arenado burst onto the scene like a firework on the 4th of July. The moment he stepped foot on the field, he transformed into a defensive wizard. It was like he had a magical force field around third base making plays that would leave Houdini scratching his head in disbelief. This dude was a human highlight reel. Before the 2018 season, Sports Illustrated ranked Arenado as the 8th top overall player and the best defensive infielder in baseball. As that season unfolded, Arenado found himself in the midst of a fiery confrontation. On April 11th, during a game against the San Diego Padres, pitcher Luis Perdomo let loose a wayward pitch that sailed behind Arenado. In a flash, the fiery third baseman charged the mound, igniting a brawl that emptied the benches and set pulses racing. The league took notice and swiftly handed down suspensions of five games each for Arenado and Perdomo. Upon his return from suspension, Arenado wasted no time leaving his mark. In a clash against the Chicago Cubs, he launched his 150th career home run, a milestone that served as a testament to his exceptional power at the plate. But here's where the plot thickens. While Arenado was busy making incredible plays, the Colorado Rockies were struggling to consistently contend for postseason glory. Frustrations bubbled like a pot of boiling water, and tensions between Arenado and Rockies management reached a breaking point. In a move that rocked the baseball world, Arenado signed a massive eight-year, $260 million contract extension with the Rockies in January 2019. But that wasn't the end of this drama. Despite this new contract, the tensions between Arenado and Rockies general manager Jeff Breidich just kept getting stronger. Trade rumors swirled, public disagreements exploded, and the question of his future with the team loomed like a dark cloud over the ballpark. Then, just when you thought the soap opera couldn't get any crazier, the plot twisted in February 2021. The Colorado Rockies traded Arenado to the St. Louis Cardinals in a blockbuster deal that had fans and analysts hyperventilating. In an interview with Sports Illustrated, Arenado spilled the beans about feeling disrespected by the Rockies administration, but no one said he wouldn't let it get him down. No moping around, no complaining. He knew he had to be a good leader for his team, and Arenado was sent packing to the St. Louis Cardinals along with a cool $51 million in exchange for a handful of players. Arenado had to prove to himself all over again in his new stomping grounds. The pressure the pressure was on like a pitcher facing a base-loaded situation in the bottom of the ninth. Could he thrive outside the cozy confines of Coors Field? Could he silence the critics and show that his offensive stats weren't just a product of thin air? 
Well, let me tell you, he didn't disappoint. As the season unfolded, Arenado's performance went from meh to holy cow. He reminded everyone why he's considered one of the best third basemen in the game. His glove work was smoother than butter, and his fielding skills were equally great. But let's address the elephant in the room. Some naysayers argue that Arenado's offensive numbers were inflated by Coors Field's hitter-friendly atmosphere. But hey, let's not throw shade without looking at the whole picture. Sure, his numbers may have received a little boost from the thin air, but let's not forget that Arenado's offensive production on the road is still above league average. The guy can hit, no matter where he's playing. So while it's true that Coors Field has historically been conducive to high-scoring games, it's important to note that Arenado's offensive production on the road is still above league average. So even if you take away the friendly confines of his home ballpark, he's still a force to be reckoned with. Give credit where credit is due and appreciate the talent that he brings to the plate. The 2023 season's been a turning point for Arenado in dispelling those doubts. With a fresh start on the St. Louis Cardinals and a new home ballpark in Busch Stadium, he's continued to showcase his offensive prowess. Sporting a solid slash line of 281, 330, and 514, Arenado has proved that his hitting abilities extend far beyond the confines of Coors Field. It's worth noting that Bush Stadium, where Arenado now plays, ranks 28th in home run rate among MLB ballparks. Despite this, he's not let the perceived disadvantage affect his performance. Instead, he's embraced the challenge and thrived in his new environment, further solidifying his reputation as a formidable offensive threat. But hey, controversies and criticisms are as much a part of baseball as peanuts and Cracker Jacks. It's the nature of the game. You can't please everyone, especially when you're as talented and successful as Nolan Arenado. There will always be those armchair analysts and keyboard warriors ready to nitpick every little detail. But then again, even Arenado himself isn't immune to criticizing his skills. He believes that his struggles in October are a significant factor that prevents him from considering himself as a Hall of Fame caliber player at this point. While many great players have experienced difficulties in the postseason, Arenado feels he needs to excel in those high-pressure situations to solidify his legacy. See, in terms of statistical analysis, Arenado's numbers suggest a promising Hall of Fame case. He's accumulated 52.9 wins above replacement or WAR, according to Baseball Reference, and typically, players in the mid-60s range are considered on the cusp of Hall of Fame territory. Considering his recent performances, Arenado could potentially reach that range within the next few seasons. Additionally, he stands out as one of only eight players in MLB history to hit 300 or more home runs while also winning 10 or more Gold Glove awards. So let's embrace the drama, the controversies, and the debates. It's what makes baseball exciting. Nolan Arenado's career has been a roller coaster ride of emotions filled with twists, turns, and a whole lot of passion. And as fans, we wouldn't have it any other way. So whether you love him or hate him, there's no denying that Nolan Arenado has left an indelible mark on the game of baseball. From his jaw-dropping defensive plays to his offensive prowess, he's a force to be reckoned with. And as the saga of his career continues to unfold, one thing's for sure, we'll be there, popcorn in hand, ready to witness the next chapter of the Nolan Arenado story.